formula, if you want to call it a formula, for chaganusiti is found in the suttas. And it's that, that's the, the, the thing that I paraphrased during the recollection, which was how fortunate, how wonderful for me that in this world full of misery, sorry, misery, miserliness and selfishness and greed, that I am a person who has practiced generosity, that I delight in giving. So that's the, the, um, the formula, if you like, that's given in the suttas. And so it's a good place to start. That's the words of the Buddha. However, you might need something a bit more emotional, which is why at the beginning I encourage you to, to reflect, I'm a good person. I'm a kind person. I'm a generous person. Sometimes we need to hear that, especially because in many cultures we're not given permission to feel good about those parts of ourself. There's this idea that you shouldn't have any pride around your, your goodness, right? And so, of course, I'm not suggesting that you need to go out and hire a skywriter so that your name can be up there with your list of, of good activities or that you should put your name on a hospital or, you know, tell everyone you meet, I'm a good person. <laughs> But we, we, should, we should actually allow ourselves to associate with those good qualities. And that part of us that is good and kind and generous. And so that's okay. And the Buddha said that we should make much of this and celebrate and rejoice. This is what we do as Buddhists Anyway, when you see someone doing something good, we're like, sadhu, 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 anamodana. That's us rejoicing in their good qualities. We need to be our own cheer squad, right? We need to celebrate our own goodness because doing that will encourage us to do it more. It's that positive reinforcement. And the Buddha encouraged us to associate with good qualities. So, some practical tips. Bring up an occasion when you were kind and generous. And remember how it felt. What was the inspiration to give? Where did that come from? How did it feel when you gave? Like, did you feel happy to give? Well, that's important data, right? Giving is happy. I feel happy when I give. Great. How did you feel afterwards? You felt good? Great. That's also important to know. And so when we recollect in this way, what you'll find is that a little spark will happen. And this will just open up. And the joy suddenly appears. And you feel, oh, okay, this lift, I've been lifted here. And then you'll notice perhaps that as you go along with that joy, you get goosebumps, a little rush of pleasure in the body. This is pity. You feel good. And so when that happens, you just kick back. You don't have to do any of the recollecting anymore. You just enjoy the positive emotional states that have arisen, you can just hold back, you know. But beforehand, we're just thinking about times that we've been generous, the benefits of generosity, the generosity we've seen others do, perhaps if, if, if you don't like the idea of associating with your own generosity, just getting to touch with the idea of generosity itself. And you'll see that something one day, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but something one day will trigger this response in you of joy. And actually, if you keep on practicing, you'll notice that whenever you turn your mind towards the subject of generosity, 
because you've been conditioning your mind, it arises really quickly, just like that. So that any time you turn your mind to this theme, joy quickly appears in the mind. And so this is the way that we train the mind. This is how the Buddha taught us to use these anusatis with a directed mind in order to get a specific result, which is joy. And so this is, this is how we, we, we practice. And the recollection is, is a bit busy in thinking. Some people don't like it because they're like, oh, this is meditation. Meditation is meant to be silent. But we're doing a recollection, so we're allowed to think, right? which is good because we're thinking anyway, right? <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> and so we work with that mind until the joy arises and then you can stop. You don't need to think anymore. You don't need to recollect. You've got this beautiful, positive, emotional world that has opened up and you just be with those beautiful, positive emotions.